I'm Mr. D, kayaking wildlife photographer and director of Paddling Places Florida. Today we're going to kind of take a look and do a test for the Movo and it's a VXR 280 stereo adjustable head mic. Kind of cool. Uh, this is a very inexpensive microphone so I'm not really expecting a lot from it. And we're going to be putting up against the Optica VM100. And then of course the uh, audio that's coming straight out of the Canon SX60 which is a very small compact Canon camera that I use out in my kayak. We're going to take a look at this and look at some of the specs and stuff like that and then basically uh, run it through its paces. Now first off you'll notice that it's a very compact size. It has adjustable stereo head uh, microphones where you can go 120 out and bring them both in. You can go one out, one in, whatever you want to do. And it has a little fuzzy cover. I don't know how good that's going to be, but we'll find out. It also comes with a headphone. That kind of surprised me. Now, it's not the greatest headphone in the world, but if you want to monitor your audio when you're behind the camera, it's a good way to go. It's a standard 3.5 millimeter connection system and it connects right into the mic. Now, what's cool also, something, something I didn't expect on this particular microphone is it has a shock mount. And I didn't expect that. So it just kind of just rocks and rolls right there and it'll just do its thing. So it should keep stability right and all this kind of thing. So that's kind of a cool idea. I know that the, uh, the Optica VM100 has the same type of thing. So what we're going to do now is basically talk a little bit more about the microphone itself. It has three buttons in the back. It has an on-off switch in the center. It has a high-pass filter. And then it has a minus dB gain button. One of the cool things about this thing, it also has a mic volume button. Where you can increase and decrease if you're getting some static or you're getting some feedback or whatever the case may be. You can adjust it down or up or whatever the case requires. The It takes two AAA batteries as an easy access door. On the other side, you have the standard mic jack port and then right next to that is the, uh, the headphone jack. But it also has another thing. It's molded into the frame where you can actually route the wire down through a little clip which is kind of a cool feature. I didn't expect that. Standard hot shoe mount system. As far as the woolly sock, I've heard a lot of people whining about how hard it is to put on. It's not hard, guys. This is real simple. Let me zoom in here and show you how easy this really is. There's a little tab right here. They put it on. This is an elastic mount system. First thing you want to do is take both the mics and kick them into the center. Simple. Lay this over the back part of the frame like that. Hold your finger on it like this. Take your little tab and just pull it across. It's an elastic mount. It's on. It's mounted. I don't know how good it's going to be, but that's all there was to it. And then reach in here in the center and then adjust your microphone heads accordingly which direction you want to shoot. But that. Okay, so what we're going to do now is do a quality test on this particular microphone. Again, it's the Movo VXR280. And we're gonna compare it against the Optica VM100 and against the stock microphone, which is what I'm recording on right now, on the Canon SX60. So let's get this all set up and uh, we'll go from there. Okay, the VXR280 by Movo is fired up and I have it mounted on top of the uh, camera on top of video lights actually so the cord is long enough to reach and uh, use the secondary hot shoe on the video light so that's a good thing and right now I'm talking in a normal voice I want to see uh, how well it does and now I'm going to switch over to the high pass filter first before I go to the DB uh, 10 DB gain loss deal I have the high pass filter switch now actuated I have a fan over my head and I'm real curious to see how much audio quality is lost using this high pass filter. So the next thing we're going to do is undo the high pass filter and do the negative 10 dB setup and then check that audio out. 
Okay, I turned off the high pass filter and turned on the minus 10 dB switch and we're going to do an audio quality test on that and as soon as we're done with that then we're going to switch back to the with no switches actuated and just the raw mic itself and then we'll be switching over to the VM100 by Optica boom mic and then see what the quality of differences are. Now this is just the uh, the straight microphone working none of the aft switches are actuated the high pass filter is not actuated the minus 10 dB gain is not actuated and we'll check the audio quality on this now we're going to switch over to the Optica VM100 shotgun mic and see what the differences are okay the Optica VM100 microphone is turned on without the high pass filter switch now I'm going to check that here in just a couple seconds here we'll go up turn the high pass filter on and then check the audio quality on that. Then we'll disconnect all the exterior microphones and do the final recording off of the uh, Canon SX60 camera. Okay, so I've turned on the high pass filter switch on the Optica VM100 microphone and we're gonna check that out and then do our final wrap up using the stock microphone on the Canon SX60 and we'll put this all together and see what we got. Here we go with the final wrap up of this mic comparison program for the, the Movo uh, VXR280 against the Optica VM100 and the stock microphone on the Canon SX60, which is now being used at the same distance as it was for the comparison test. Now here's the bottom line. The VXR280 outperformed the Canon SX60 stock mic, hands down. It also beat, quite handily, the Optica uh, VM100. As far as the Movo on the DB gain switch, don't use it. You're really not going to gain that much. And the high pass filter, forget it. It wipes you totally out. So if you use this uh, adjustable head stereo mic system from Movo, use it without any of those inner switches uh, applied. Just use it raw out of it. Use the woolly if you're in wind. I think you're going to be pleasantly surprised. I'm going to keep it. I didn't think I was going to, but I'm definitely going to keep it now. It gives a good quality sound. You can see for yourself in this video. So this is Mr. D, kayaking wildlife photographer and director at Paddling Places, Florida. We'll see you out there.